guys, it's Paul and Zhang. Uh, this is earning royalties through inventions. Uh, Shopify basically has a list of passive income ideas, and I'm running through them, seeing what combinations I could come up with with our business and different ideas. Um, and I hope it helps you. This is uh, I have a list of different you know businesses that we've been looking through, comparing, thinking about. And uh, this one is earning royalties through, through inventions. And so the cost in terms of time financial is pretty big that they're saying, uh, but the passive income is pretty high once things uh, get going. So they give you two sites over here, Invention City, as well as Invent My Idea. Uh, it, it seems uh, in both of these situations, the inventions are gonna be some kind of physical product. And so over here with Invention City, they're gonna give you um, their thoughts. Is this, is this worth even, is this, is this something that could be something, right? Uh, I, I kind of prefer Invention City's idea. If they like it, uh, they'll license it from you, uh, sell it. Otherwise they can make some referrals. The Invent My Idea, I think if this Invention City doesn't go through, you go to Invent My Idea and you can list over here, which products you have. And if you already have the patent, you could, uh, get going with uh, marketing. They have other connections into like Walmart, Target, Best Buy, PetSmart, Dicks, and Lowe's. Um, so you you know, you know could basically develop it, license it, and you sell it to these two companies. If not, uh, they could be a referral source uh, instead of you um, licensing it to them. Uh, they could just give you direct access to maybe some of the stores to help you sell your product. And in that, it could be a huge money maker, right? Because they these guys end up becoming your distribution center to sell your pro, sell your uh, invention. So the criteria I have for this is the money potential is like really good. Actually, I'd say this is closer to a ten. Like it's it's pretty hard to beat. Uh, once you're in distribution centers, you have multiple uh, people going through these stores, um, looking at your item, and they'll have multiple stores all at once. Um, and so I think it's really good. Your risk of money, I think, is is a four. You can have prototypes and you can make something. So um, maybe a little bit less expensively. But I know um, if you start looking at trials and going into different things, if you use a manufacturing company and you know that um, you, want, you want it to be at a presentable place where you could cement these ideas, uh, the cost could start getting... Uh, become significant. Your speed to get the money, I think, is a little bit slow. Uh, your time investment, it, it could be intensive, especially in the beginning as you're figuring out, is this an idea? Is this something that we can create? Is this something we can make? Is this a solve a problem? And is there uh, a market for it? Uh, so your time investment and your market, uh, your money investment could be uh, kind of intense. The difficulty could be intense, but um, a lot of these, you know, different websites now uh, give you options to basically have a way to get into distribu distribution centers uh, like Target, Walmart, that you might not have had in the beginning. Uh, I have a friend who, um, you know, created, I think, some, some kind of item. I can't, I want to say it was a food item, but now I'm thinking that it wasn't. There was something else, like something like cutesy, one of those, like, it was like one of those mom, um, it's something for moms. But essentially, she was going to different stores, uh, more of the mom and pop shops, and putting that, you know, um, in their inventory to see if it would sell and she would get a cut. So, you know, that's pretty intensive, right? Like if if these guys don't take your idea, then you know that's you know you're you're doing these other things. Is it scalable? Once you're in the distribution centers, once there's a market, once you have people buying, uh, it could be incredibly scalable. I'm going to put here a 10. Uh, if you get a license like these other guys have bought it and they're going to sell it for you, you're going to get cut. I think it's incredibly uh, scalable once once you get going. In terms of competition, I'd say it's fierce. So um, this, this idea is you are creating multiple multiple inventions, multiple ideas, submitting them for review and seeing if you get a hit. If you get a hit, it could be explosive, right? Location specific uh, is really good. You can kind of do it anywhere. Uh, if anything, you might have to, um, 
if you end up getting into manufacturing, like that might be something, but if you're just licensing it and you're earning royalties, man, this is something that could be uh, very lucrative and not location specific. So overall, it's a 55.56. It's a different type of model, but I think the way you get this going is you have multiple inventions. You're uh, putting them through review. You're willing to pay, uh, you know, pay these guys for this brutally honest review and see if, if they'll take it. If they take it, you know, you have something. Otherwise, you could kind of go back to your drawing board and figure out what you want to do next. So... Uh, just an idea. Uh, it's not something that I think I'm going to take, but uh, you know, for those that are into inventions, uh, you can get it. I had a roommate years ago that was into uh, bikes, and he wanted to create uh, a better bike seat, and so this would be how he would uh, get going with it. So, uh, if you're interested in a list of all the different businesses that I've been putting numbers on, check that out in the description below. If you're interested in land investing, it is how my wife and I were able to quit our jobs. We basically buy them inexpensively and then resell them for cash or for owner financing uh, to usually at double, triple, four times the amount that we purchased it. Uh, so that'll be in the description below. Otherwise, take care. Have a good one. Bye.